Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a fabulous Saturday morning. I have eyeshadow on my dressing gown. How fabulous. And it just came out of the wash a couple of days ago. Ain't that just great? There is a lot of drama going on today. Or maybe I'm just calling it drama and it's really not. Some, like... Instagram page was like set up and in Ireland this is probably going to make more sense if you don't live in Ireland you're probably not going to care but they had Irish bloggers basically on it and they were doing like before and afters of editing apps basically and how people look in person versus the image they put up on social media. I don't know I feel like it's all kind of kicking off there now. I'm saying no way out of this. I mean like America out of this and I know some people should probably be like oh you should stand up for online bullying and stuff like this I don't think before and after pictures are considered bullying they're on the internet so I don't I don't know I'm only going to discuss it here with you guys because I'm going to bring my own kind of interpretation of the whole thing first thing is put up a picture of you in your natural form why the hell do you have to edit your body in a way that makes you look how you think is desirable and if you don't feel desirable, then perhaps work on your self-esteem. Or if you don't feel perfect or whatever, or you don't love your body, then maybe work on your self-esteem. Never ever post a picture that you have to edit within an inch of its life. Like, put up a picture that you like. Be body, body positive in the best way that you can. It's not something that happens overnight. You just have to love the body that you're in because I was watching a TV show last night and there was a girl in it and she had spina bifida, so she's been in a wheelchair her whole life. And I was just like, that girl actually has has genuine struggles in life but she loves she said she loves her wheelchair and she loves herself and she's very very happy we need to learn to love ourselves and I know anytime I'd say to my nanny like I remember I used to say things like oh I hate my legs or something she'd be like well be grateful that your legs work and she is so right so this is going on online anyway basically before and after pictures and it's really kicking off like I was on Twitter there and then and it, like snapchat and stuff and I was just like ha. Oh. I just feel like this stuff is just unnecessary and I know like influencers are saying in Ireland that they're going to stand up against bullying and stuff that is great online bullying and stuff I do not accept that in any way shape or form I think like before and after pictures are just I, do, I don't really consider it bullying I just feel like it's a fact I don't know I feel like whoever's making those pictures maybe has a little bit too much time on their hands if somebody posted a picture of me looking like this versus a picture of me with makeup on and be like oh my god before and after so dramatic like look at the state of dramatic Mac before I would actually just be like yeah well I actually like myself before because I love the body that I'm in and I don't care if I look like crap some days and I look great others I do agree with standing up against online bullying but I also agree with trying to take something out of this as well and just realize that if you're editing your body within an inch of its life don't expect that people are going to ignore that and just let it go I don't have a perfect body nobody has a perfect body but you just gotta love the one that you have and you'll get there and just be happy because if you are unhappy and you're dwelling on the weight that you're at or the shape that your body is or you know maybe your legs are not as long as her legs or maybe your thighs are bigger than her thighs or you know whatever comparing yourself to other people then you're just going to live a really, really unhappy life and I know they were talking last night on the Late Late Show about if you don't watch the Late Late Show it's an Irish TV show it's kind of like a like a chat show I absolutely detest it like I'm 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 sorry I just don't like it but last night I clicked onto it and they had bloggers a blogger on it and then like two kind of girls who were bullied in school for being overweight but all three people that were on the panel were talking about bo body positivity but they're all been bullied for being overweight and I would have loved to seen a male's perspective of you know body shaming or maybe somebody who's been skinny shamed I thought that would have made for like a much more well-rounded kind of discussion so just be like what's going on today and there's that discussion last night about body positivity and stuff I just feel like the only advice I can give to you the viewer is to every day wake up and be thankful that number one you're not sick number two that you have the ability to walk and that you have the ability to kind of do everything that you want to do put yourself in someone else's shoes for once as well have a bit of empathy towards others never compare yourself to people because that's just silly and also don't take the opinions of people who don't mean 
anything to you and what I mean by that is like people that are not family members people that don't love you for who you are don't get bogged down by the opinions of people who don't matter I don't know I'm not bringing awareness to that Instagram page or anything I'm just kind of like talking to you guys about what's kind of going on today but I just wanted to talk to you guys about a more positive note I'm going to go downstairs make myself some tea get up <laughs> for the day I put my dressing gown on that's all I've done. Going for dinner tonight with Damien, so I need to go have a shower and shave my legs and the whole rigmarole of getting ready to go out. I was like, should I just wear jeans and then I don't have to shave my legs? I also do want to say one last thing on the topic. If you are following someone, either a blogger, a YouTuber or whatever, and for whatever reason you find yourself just not liking their content anymore, I say unfollow straight away. And that is the best way to kind of stop you feeling negative about another person because that's a really unhealthy way to live your life. So just remove that thing from your life. So it's the same with friends, for instance. If a friend is doing something that you dislike, it's easier because you can actually discuss it with them. Be like, okay, you're doing something and I don't like it. Can you stop? Or is there another way that you can express your opinion or your opinion on this topic has hurt my feelings or whatever it may be. And if they react in a negative way, then you really have to think is that person a good influence on your life and do you really need them same with bloggers and youtubers is the content that they are giving you not worth your while anymore or it's not impacting you positively anymore and if the answer is no it's not impacting me positively anymore and i don't like what they're putting up unfollow straight away and don't even hesitate just unfollow and then you don't need to kind of have that feeling about that person anymore that's just my whole two cents on the matter anyway guys and I know you probably don't care but I just thought I would discuss it in the best way that I can express my opinion so I'm just getting ready to go out now I um finished my eye makeup I just need to put lashes on finish my face makeup and I just need to do my lips and Damien texted me and he was like can you please start getting ready now I was like I am I am I am because when we went to Gran Canaria together well, there was like a group of us that went to Gran Canary. Gran Canaria, I was always the last one ready. Every single night. It was just ridiculous. But I always take so long to get ready because I listen to videos. And I'm up going around and walking around and talking and putting music on. And I just delay everything. Like actually when I set my mind to get ready, I can be done in about an hour. But it's just all the fun that goes on in between. I'm wearing Inglot eyeshadows, like a purpley one on the outer corner. And a bit of a uh, Morphe 3502 palette. And then I'm wearing the Stila Kitten Karma all over my lids with the what is in my waterline oh yeah the mac teddy liner and then i just have benefit their real mascara on my face i'm wearing wet and wild mixed with Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'm using the Caitlyn Jenner bronzer with a bit of the chocolate soleil bronzer. I have warm soul on my cheeks and my highlight is the kilowatt highlight from Fenty and I've no idea what to do with my lips I'm thinking probably nude because I'm going to be eating so I don't want to go with like red and I don't want to wear like a liquid lipstick because then it'll kind of leave stains and stuff and I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks anyway so I don't know what I'm going to wear on my lips I'll just have a route through my collection there but I need to take the foundation off my lips because that's not looking cute right now so I better continue to get ready because I'm gonna take too long otherwise oh and my brows are all from benefit okay so I'm just ready my makeup is done I don't know why I said I'm just ready because I still have to get dressed I clipped in some Bellamy extensions I'm so unhappy with every single outfit I try on because everything looks like crap so I'm literally wearing a t-shirt and the leather skirt and I can't decide between what shoes to wear. Damien's downstairs now, so I'm gonna have to go. My hair looks really messy. Clip-in extensions, I just, I, can, I can't deal with them. But we'll be getting our new extensions in next week, so they will be gone. This is what the outfit's looking like. It's just a t-shirt that I got in River Island. And then the skirt from Topshop I was talking to you guys about, but it's just, like, nothing fits me. And if I pull it down too far, it just doesn't look right. And then the t-shirt gets all baggy it just doesn't look good and i can't decide whether to go with boots or shoes 
decision is big. So I decided against the skirt and top and I'm going with this little top from River Island and my black Zara jeans because they just look nice I suppose. And um, I'm wearing these tassel earrings that I got from Penny's. I think they just kind of make the whole outfit a whole. And then I'm wearing my sock boots from Public Desire as well. I really need to clean my room, it's like a clothing bomb went off and I dropped eyeshadows all over the floor as well. Yeah, it's not looking really good. Bra is the only problem I'm having at the moment because it keeps like going up and you can kind of see the top of it, but sure, look, who cares? Ollie and David are coming with us as well. David's her boyfriend, so I'm very excited about that. Um, not loving my hair with the hair extensions. I can't wait to get my bonds back in next week and they'll just look so much better. I'm gonna let you guys go now. So I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's vlog or the next day I vlog. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.